Hello, you incredible friends, and welcome to our next Zoom networking event. It's an absolute honor to have you with us. And if you've just signed in, I just want to say a big thank you. This is being done on Thursday, the 28th of May in the post-corona season at 6 p.m. Sydney time. Now, just to let you know, this uh, event will go for one hour. We'll be finishing off in 59 minutes sharp, and we're going to go through things, and we're going to get through everything quickly. Now, the point of tonight is all about you, is to help you better network, help you connect with people, and help you become more successful and powerful. It's an honor having you with us. Now, a few honorable mentions. Um, tonight, we're being sponsored by Cadbury. Uh, I bought this from the supermarket before, five bucks for this, 350 grams of non-stop caloric action. If you want some, let me know. I'll pass it to you. So try and reach out for it. If you reach out for it, you can grab it. That's it. Whoa, who took it? I lost it. It's gone now. There we go. And of course, as well, when I get a bit thirsty later on, I've also got a kombucha, which is a beautiful fermented tea. So we'll be getting into that later. But anyway, my friends, enough about me. It's about you. We're here to network and here to win big. Now, there's a few guidelines. Um, please keep your responses and your questions really tight and focused. The elevator pitches go for 30 to 45 seconds. And the more shorter and punchy you'll be, is the more effective you are. The other thing I encourage you to do as well is with your name, make sure you're actually using your name correctly and as it's spelt on LinkedIn to help people network and find you, okay? So unless you don't want to be found. So feel free to put your whole name in just so people can easily find you. So it's great having you all with us. Now let's get uh, into the absolute festivities. Oh, one last thing as well. No trash talking, no trolling. Let's keep it all positive. Let's win big. If you're ready to get started, can I get... V for victory from everyone. V for victory from everyone. That's the spirit and welcome. So first things first, um, I want to give a big shout out to my manager, my boss. The person who is in charge of me is the awesome Lassie Zier. Can we give Lassie a round of applause? Now, if you haven't already, make sure you connect with Lassie on LinkedIn right now because Lassie's going to do a post that brings everyone together. So make sure you connect with Lassie and everyone. Now, we've got a few of our officers here tonight, a few of our big commanders here tonight and are scanning the screens. We've got Celeste Ansel. Can we get away from Celeste? Top LinkedIn influencer coach. We'll have her a bit on later. We've also got the awesome uh, scanning, scanning, scanning her other commanders. She's the only commander in so far. So it's just... Celeste and us, but I'm sure the other commanders aren't too far away if I've missed them. So my friends, what we're gonna do then is because Celeste is the only commander who's actually logged in yet, why don't we open up with a bit of Celeste just to uh, start up the evening. And uh, Celeste, how are you doing? How's life? That's the way I like to start my evening too, with a slice of me, so <laughs> I'm doing really well. <laughs> Now, Celeste, it's an honour to have you here. You are a powerhouse LinkedIn influencer coach. You get thousands, you get seen thousands of times a day on LinkedIn every day. How, how, what's your tips to everyone to totally succeed on LinkedIn? Awesome, Celeste. It depends on where you are in your social media journey. Um, if you're just starting out, it's all about turning up. So a lot of people tend to overthink what am I going to put on there? Is it going to be right? Let me get things perfect before I actually do anything. And then they don't post anything for a long time and they just sit back and watch. That is a huge mistake. You need to actually just be getting out there, even if it's like a two sentence post and just start and just get the ball rolling and then start from there and you will gain confidence just by turning up. Oh, extremely well said. And Celeste, mm -hmm. how, as a result of this Zoom networking event we're running tonight. How can people use LinkedIn to maximize their experience from this networking event tonight? Well, you're already in a group right now. There's, I can see 29 people here who have decided to spend an hour of their time getting to know others in a like-minded kind of way. So best thing to do is actually connect with people that are in this group online on LinkedIn. Um, so if you are able to connect with each person, even if you're not in the same industry, don't overthink it. It's about people who are willing to engage and then start engaging on their, on their stuff as well. So if you're going to send them a message saying, hey, I saw you on a Zoom tonight. We'd really love to know more about what you're doing and start that ball rolling. If you're just sitting back and you're just waiting for things to happen for you without taking any action, like anything in life, it's probably not going to happen for you. Wow, that's beautifully well said, Celeste. Everyone give Celeste a round of applause. Big round of applause. Oh, Mac, love for Celeste. And make sure you connect with Celeste. Now, one of our other commanders have logged in. He's a very handsome Italian guy from the west coast of Australia. And for those who aren't from Australia, Australia is the world's largest single country continent. And coast to coast is like travelling America. Five hours coast to coast. 
He's handsome. He's Italian. He's brilliant. He loves the mobster films like I do, including Joe Pesci, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro. And he's a top copywriting expert. How are you doing tonight, Carlo? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Um, yeah, normally I'd say it's from sunny Perth, but yeah, we've uh, had some pretty stormy weather of late, but um, no, it's still good. Oh, I tell you what, that climate change is a tricky one. Now, I was going to ask you all some, Carlo, because you and I cause climate change. What I was going to ask you, Carlo, was this. Carlo, you're a top copywriter. What are some of the top power words that you can write on your LinkedIn and your copy to make you convert more? What are some of your favourite power words, awesome, Carlo? Yeah, well, uh, variety is the spice of life, but um, there's one that can't be underestimated, and that's peace of mind. It's uh, very important in your marketing messages. So, Peace of mind. So yeah, peace of mind, that takes you to a place of zen, doesn't it, Carlo? Yeah, I mean, it sounds... Um, a religious term, but it's reassuring for your prospects that uh, you're not going to rip them off. <laughs> well, that's the spirit because at the end of the day, we don't want to rip off our prospects because we love our customers, don't we, Carlo? Yeah, exactly. We want them to come back uh, 10 times over. <laughs> that's the spirit. So everyone, big round of applause to Carlo, expert copywriter, great guy and speak to him. Do we have any other commanders in or am I just going to dive straight in elevator pitches? I haven't spotted any other commanders now. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some elevator pitches now. So just to let you know, I've muted everyone. When you do your elevator pitch, it goes for roughly 30 to 45 seconds. Be very clear and direct as to what you do. And please unmute yourself at once you do the pitch. And when you've uh, done the pitch, then just mute yourselves again, just to uh, keep the noise down for everyone. So if you want to do an elevator pitch, there's two things you can do. Either click hands up or hold your hand physically up and I'll try and spot. We're going to pick three to kick off the evening. Who wants to do an elevator pitch? Put up your hand. We've got Dale Stevens, number one. Here we've got Sass, number two. Alice, number three. It's all the ladies first. It's a girl power evening. There we go. Come on, you boys. You better lift the game. The girls are kicking your butt. So why don't we open the evening with beautiful, awesome powerhouse Dale Stevens. Dale, the floor is yours. Uh, yeah, well, I love lawyers, unlike a lot of people. I love communicating. I love making communities. Uh, lawyers, amazing communicators, so that they can be good lawyers and kind lawyers and um, put good, some good into the world. Oh, very, very cool. So Dale works with lawyers. And also, just so you know, Dale was also one of the stars on Blue Healers. So who here what, remembers the Australian TV cop show Blue Healers? Who did you play on Blue Healers, Dale? Tell us everything. Who did you play? Detective Rose Egan. And I was always right. With all the murders and everything, I knew who did the murders and everything. So there you go. So remember, Dale, if you want to learn communication speaking, speak to Dale. And, of course, as well, if she starred on Blue Healers, she's got to be brilliant. So thank you, Dale. Great having you with us. Thank you. Next one, we've got Sass Huntwood, and she's got a beautiful catch behind her. How are you doing this evening, Sass? I'm great. Thank you very much for inviting me. Hello from sunny UK, uh, Devon. If anybody knows knows the UK. My name's Sass from the Storytellers, and I love telling stories and capturing people's stories. So if you have a story to tell, uh, we create um, hardback and digital storybooks of your life or your loved one's life. Um, so if you've got a, everybody's got a story to tell, and your story is unique, so the world deserves to hear it. Oh my God, Sass! Round of applause to Sass. That's beautiful. Welcome. And then, of course, it's girl power tonight. The girls are whipping the boys. We've got Alice Pennington with a stunning red background and a smile to boot. Alice, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Um, yes, I'm Alice. I run a graphic design studio in little old Adelaide. Beautiful, safest place to live right now, definitely. Um, working with some fabulous clients that obviously have really digitalised all their work and I'm um, noticing a lot of um, inundation of uh, e-books that are getting thrown out there. And so we're really creating, um, letting their, um, bring some value to the content that's there because people have got great content, but it's getting lost in a manic of design. So that's our main focus at the moment with our clients is really building those e-books so that they really bring your brand to life so that people want to, you know, keep connecting with you. Oh, beautiful. Everyone else, round of applause. Thank you. And just before, I, I did forget as well, we do have a great chat section as well. So you notice there's all a group chat, everyone. Please um, speak there, share your links and go for it. Now, one of our other officers have arrived. She's an amazing powerhouse lady 
And she is from a glorious place called Singapore. She's brilliant. She's smart. And she is the uber ethereal queen of networking. And she's amazing. And she's going to teach us a bit about networking tonight. Tara Lee Harrison, how are you doing this evening? Hey, Ed. So great to see you and everyone. I feel like it's been forever since I've seen you. How's everyone? Good? Oh, we're great. Big way. Oh, they are great. It's so good. It's so good. You know, uh, when it comes to networking, I've been really thinking this week and and um, just sharing my stories about how in the beginning, I didn't know what to do when it came to networking and how my first mixer was a fail. I didn't have the guts to go in. How the first time I went to a meeting and needed to give my pitch, I they said, would you tell us a little bit about yourself? And and I didn't know what they meant, and so I did. I told them a lot about me, and I, you know, for like, I don't know how long they let me ramble, and, and then they all got up and gave these pitches, and I felt dumb. And now, you know, the networking world has changed. We're doing tons of networking online, so a lot of times we can feel dumb, if you will, right? It's possible, or we might not have the guts to press um, that button and go on screen, but, but I just want to invite you all... Um, to, to do it, to move forward, to do it. Well, you learn every time that you appear and uh, just raise up your courage, raise up your courage, show up, give your spiel. You never know. You never know who is wanting to partner with you for referrals and, and make a connection. So, so that's my deal. That's my humble beginnings, my friend. It was, it was pretty dismal back in the day. And look at you now, you run a global network of chapters all over the world of top networkers. And I was going to ask you, Tara Lee, and I want to aim this at the quieter people in the audience. Um, mm. So it was, we've got people here who've got a great thing to say, but they're going to be quiet. They're going to sit in the corner. Mm. Tara Lee, what's your message to the quiet people listening to help them come out of their shells and share their brilliance with the world? Oh my gosh, that's such a great question. For all of you who haven't yet like raised your hand, um, th number one is... I don't care who you are and what you do. There are people that need you. There are people that need to hear from you. They need your service. There's something special about you. And I want to encourage you just, you may be shaking the first time. And I just, I just shared with you how I, I didn't have the guts in the beginning and I totally messed it up in the beginning. And if we were to be honest, many of us felt that way too, right? But the, every time you do it, you will gain more courage. Every time you do it, you'll become more confident. So this, this is a safe place too, right? You have Ed here, you have all of us. And so I just invite you, raise that hand, get it done once, you're going to be glad you did. And after this, Ed, you won't be able to shut them up, right? Oh, that's the spirit. I like loud people. And can we give a round of applause to Tara Lee? Round of applause, Tara Lee. All right, we're going to do three pitches in the room. Now, Wendy, you did put up, did you put up your hand before Wendy? I think you did. Yep, so we'll go Wendy first. I did see her before. We've got Rachel. Who else wants to pitch? Raise your hand. Alison, what are the boys doing tonight? It's just girl power. Like, you know, us men. No wonder us men are making less money than women these days. Look how ambitious and awesome these women are. Come on, men. Dig into some testosterone. Those girls are kicking your butt. Wendy, the floor is yours. Thanks, Ed. Hey, guys, I'm Wendy from Sydney. I'm a buyer's agent, so I actually help people to find that home that they're looking for, whether they think it's out there or not. I just have this habit of just materialising amazing properties. Um, today I found a backyard with a chandelier hanging in the tree. So that was today's find, although nobody was looking for it, but I've posted it on my Facebook page anyway. So, you know, if you want to win at buying a home, and you're having trouble, find a buyer's agent. And if you're in Sydney, look me up. I've got my COVID special pricing, which is don't pay me till I find it at the moment. So um, thanks a lot. Oh, beautiful. Round of applause to Wendy. If you want a great property and a chandelier in the backyard, Wendy's your, <laughs> your lady. So bravo. We got Rachel Shiverton from the glorious United Kingdom. God save the Queen. And Rachel, the floor is yours. Hi everyone, how you doing? I'm just ch checking in. I just realized the time is 12.15 my time and I want to see what's going on in this uh, networking night. I'm actually working with a company called Smarketing International and um, we are marketing and business consultants for lots of different types of businesses here in Dubai and we help everyone kind of increase their revenue, which we know now is a very difficult thing to be focused on. So <laughs> basically everyone has a backdrop to try to uh, get... Um, I just realized my video wasn't on. I'm here. I'm here. I'm alive. <laughs> well, it's good. Great having you with us, Rachel. Thank you. Okay. Well, nice Thanks. to meet everybody. Thank you. Grab a applause to Rachel. Now we're, we're going to hit Rachel Shiverton. 
Rachel Shiverton, the floor is yours, my friend. Thanks, Ed. Hi, Rachel, Focus Guru. I work with overworked and overwhelmed business owners, giving them back control. How I do that is by reviewing their processes, their systems, and their procedures to find the root of the evil that's draining their money and draining their time. Um, so if you want to gain back more time and more money, then connect with me on LinkedIn. Rachel, that's a bit round. Applause to Rachel. Beautiful. We've got Alison Rose Clark and the Empire State Building behind her. How are you doing, Alison Rose Clark? I'm good, thanks. I, I've never been there. One day I will. <laughs> okay, well, I'm, my name's Alison Rose Clark. Um, my company is Tigerfly Energy Creations, um, and that's where all about creations in whatever that form comes. Uh, the first the first creation of my business is my book called I Don't Hate Me Anymore. It's an interactive uh, self-help, uh, self-improvement book um, that will take you through um, steps in a logical order. Um, so you can say the same as me, that I don't hate me anymore. Oh, well, we're going to turn that hate to love. Love your work. I'm Boston Allison. Beautiful. We had a few other people, um, because I'm highly corrupt, I'm going to break my own rules and allow more people to pitch. Um, how about we have BeQuest Tech, then Zoe. Um, they put their hands up. BeQuest Tech, you're there? Yeah, the floor is yours, BeQuest Tech. I'm here. Uh, greetings, everyone. Uh, my name is Scott Krager, and I'm out of the States, and my business is BeQuest Tech. I'm also in the wine business, but BeQuest Tech is a company that comes alongside um, entrepreneurs, inventors, scientists, and help bring their products to change the world to market. Oh, it's a pleasure and welcome. And uh, Bequest Tech, feel free to leave your name in the comments so people can find you on LinkedIn and connect with you. Beautiful. We got Zoe next. Zoe, you there, Zoe? The floor is yours. Awesome, Zoe. Oh, Zoe, please feel free to unmute yourself and go for it. Hi. Evening to you guys, morning for everyone in England. Um, I'm Zoe, I'm an independent consultant with Arbonne International. Um, we look at all aspects of people's personal care and health and wellness. A lot of nutrition going on at the moment with the lockdown, people overindulging. So if anyone would like any help with choosing some personal care products that are safe or some nutrition products, um, I'd be grateful to have a chat with you, try and help you out. Um, and also we've got a network marketing side for the business as well if you're looking to branch out thank you very much that's zoe independent consultant with album international thanks oh, zoe, beautiful i'm gonna say we love your sunroof as well there you go you have to pop out the top <laughs> that's really cool um who else wants to pitch right now put up your hand so i can see it we got annette parker and ian parker are you two related annette and ian well okay Lost brothers and sisters will go, Annette Parker, then a long lost bro Ian Parker. Annette, the floor is yours. Hello, everybody. My name is Annette Parker. I run a business called Believe This Dream, and I am affiliated with a global personal development company. So my passion is helping people find purpose and meaning in their life and to break out of the herd mentality and learn how to think differently, basically. So uh, if you are ready for an adventure, get in contact and I'll let you know what we can do to uh, get you on the road to a new life and a new lifestyle. Oh, beautiful, Annette. Love your work. Welcome. Annette's long lost brother, Ian Parker, with the golf course behind him. The floor is yours. Yeah, thanks, Ed. Actually, it's um, Cable Beach in Broome, but I'm not there, but that's where it is. So... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we've um, I've got an online sales uh, coaching platform that uh, we built, developed uh, that um, is either available for private coaching, which we do private coaching, or it's also available for uh, do-it-yourself businesses. So businesses can uh, we can set it all up, white label it for the businesses, and they can run their own coaching. And the platform also allows for coaches that have got their own content and videos, but they want to know how do we put on a coaching platform that's got daily and weekly accountability, we can actually put their content on our platform, it's all white labeled for them, and they can go out and, um, and do their own thing in the world. So that's, uh, that's what we do. 
in welcome beautiful love your work we've got eons fleet pro solutions and then we've got to and we go to mel so eons fleet you're there on oh, dominique i got you too eons fleet mel then dominique eons fleet Oh, Eons Fleet, please feel free to unmute yourself and go for it. Unmute yourself. Actually, I can unmute you. Hang on a sec. Eons Fleet, can you hear us? Okay, yes. Yes, I can hear you clearly. Yeah, start again, my friend. Tell us how sexy and awesome you yeah. are. Four seconds. <laughs> oh, it's so, it's so amazing. It's quite amazing to be here. My name is Tokumbo, uh, the CEO of um, Aeons Fleet of Pro Solution Limited uh, right here in Nigeria. Africa, West Africa, precisely. Um, so we are actually a few um, technological companies right here in Nigeria. So we are driven at helping our clients to um, monitor fuel and um, saving a whole lot of costs. We're, we're into um, sales consultation also. So um, it's been so amazing right here, um, despite the lockdown in Nigeria. Um, yet a lot of people right here in Nigeria are appreciating remote solutions. So it's actually a very good time for us right here in Nigeria and we're, we are doing business. So if, if you're interested in partnership and bringing remote solutions to Nigeria, yeah, that's what we do. So it's yeah. amazing to meet people like you right here. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Really appreciate you. We've got Mel Jensen. Mel, how are you going tonight, Mel? What's going on? And go the bombers. Yeah, not too bad, guys. Yeah, thanks. Just want to say, Dale, nice to, to meet you. I'm actually watching the last collection of um, Blue Healers right now, so I'm pumped. Um, also want to say, Alison Rose Clark, her book is absolutely awesome. I've been reading it, so I'm having a lot of fun. Um, just want to say, I made a mistake the other day. I've actually accidentally put my ebooks on sale. They're free until Sunday. So anybody wants the chance to go and have a look at them, um, they can get them free until Sunday, all six. Actually, I believe seven <laughs> um, are free until Sunday. So it's um, um, M.A. Seymour on Smashwords. Um, I'll post um, a link on LinkedIn after this. So, and, yeah. and very quickly before you go, Mel, you've got, um, you've got a wonderful social enterprise and charity. Do you want to spend a quick bit of time talking about your great social enterprise? Yeah, what I'm trying to do through ebook sales um, and also just trying to get investors, I want to set up a domestic or oh, an abuse survivors um, house, also for LGBTIQA plus people, where it's safe, secure, safe, secure, stable, uh, long term accommodation with employment, training, um, and just, just where they can feel safe to live. Uh, yeah. That's my goal for the end of next year. I've actually been posting the, the parts. Today being my birth anniversary, um, I haven't posted, but I will be posting parts 9 and 10 tomorrow. So. Wow. And just on that note, you broke the conversation. I understand there's two of us tonight with uh, today's birthdays. We've got it's Mel Jensen's birthday and it's also someone else's birthday. Where are you hiding? I can't find you on my PC screen. Alison Rose Clark, what I want to do is I'm going to unmute everyone. We're just going to do a very quick happy birthday song together. Is that okay? <laughs> I'll lead it. It's going to be a disaster, but I'm going to do it anyway. Who cares? Who cares? Happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday, to, birthday, you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Thanks. <laughs> that was a disaster. That's right? amazing. Thank you, everyone. It was beautiful. Beautiful. You sound like you? my family. That was a train wreck. Bad, that's, you know, they, that's, that's, like you're that's actually the best <laughs> ever I've heard. That is the best ever. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Well, anyway, it was a train work, train wreck acoustics wise, but love it was 10 out of 10. So thank you, everyone. So what we're going to do is we're going to bounce to one of our commanders for the moment because... I just had a thought, I just want to sort of run by them because they're really, really smart and in the zone. And um, Carlo, how are you feeling this evening? How are you feeling, Carlo? Yeah, pretty good, Ed, yeah. Now, Carlo, you're a very smart, intelligent guy. When it comes to copywriting, what are some of your hot tips for people to write really, really successful copy? Uh, well, the best thing to um, keep in mind is always 
think about the prospects. So write to them and, um, yeah, don't write in first person. Always write in second. So use the most powerful word in marketing. And, um, yeah, vary your sentence lengths. Because I see a lot of uh, LinkedIn posts that, um, even articles, they're just too hard to write, uh, read. Uh, they're too they're too clunky. So, yeah, do away with 10-sentence paragraphs. That's my big tip. Keep it to three or four sentences. Wow, that's incredible, Carla. And I was just going to say as well, Carla, you've got a great download for people. What's that? What's the PDF download you love offering in our wonderful events? Yeah, it's basically the 120 most persuasive words in English language. So happy to hand it out um, to all the good people uh, attending tonight. So, yeah, it's um, sure and sweet, but you'll get a lot of value from it. Oh, that's very good. Carlo, round of applause to Carlo. Now, I've got a quick question for the audience before we do some pictures. It's choose your own adventure. Do you want Edward to start eating chocolate or do you want Edward to drink a healthy kombucha? So you you pick Edward's destiny. High calorie chocolate or kombucha? Uh, put your comments in there and I'll do. No, you've got to pick one to start with. I'll have both, but which one do I start with? Kombucha or high energy chocolate? Chocolate, keep going, keep the votes. Kombucha, both. Start with a healthy kombucha. Kombucha, it's a mixed, it's a mixed bet actually. Mixed bet. Okay, it looks like kombucha's one. So we're going to go to kombucha. Oh, there we go. Kombucha's the best, everyone. There we go. We're going to start with this. Mm. That's really good. It's this beautiful uh, ginger and lemon. We'll get to the chocolate later. So welcome. Pour on the chocolate, Joe. That'll be a bit interesting. We'll do that a bit later on, maybe. Maybe I need a bit more kombucha until I do that. So we're going to take some few, a few more pictures in the room. Who wants to give a quick powerhouse elevator pitch to the room? Put up your hand and hold up so I can see it. Um, oh, Dominique. Did I screw you before? I screwed Dominique badly. And so we go Dominique, Darren, and uh, we'll start with those two. Dominique. The floor is yours. I've ignored you about four times. I must be a racist or something. Go for it. <laughs> it's okay, Ed. I, I, it just so happens I grew up in South Africa and survived apartheid. I've been shot once and stabbed twice, but that's okay. Nothing <laughs> gets me down, bro. Yeah. All right. Hi, everybody. Dominic Fester, employee shore, uh, workplace relations consultant, uh, largest specialist provider of independent, uh, you know, workplace relations advice in Australia and New Zealand. So I give business owners peace of mind. I think you like that, Carla. Peace of mind in terms of running the business, having safe frameworks, and we look after employees with good culture and happy to talk to anybody that you know can refer to that's a small business owner, needs help with their compliance, needs help with their contracts, needs help with looking after their staff and putting their business in a better place. You know, lots of good things happening, but also lots of bad things here because the ombudsman is around picking on people who are not compliant under the Fair Work Act and the Wealth, Work Health and Safety Act. That's the boring stuff. We make it cool. We put a legal floor and we look after people. Thank you very much. Dominic, it's a pleasure having you with us. Thank you, Dominic. We've got the awesome and handsome and sexy Darren Saul on the line. Darren, how you doing, man? Oh, you're too kind, Ed. You're too kind. But uh, hello, everybody. Darren Saul here from Suspended Animation. I do a few things. I'm a photographer, and I'm also a social media and podcast coach. Now, I have my own podcast, which Ed has been on. We had a fantastic show. And so has Terry Lee. And Celeste is on in another week or so. But if anybody's ever interested in doing a, an episode with me, collaborating, just put, get in touch. Would love to do that with you. And um, yeah, thanks so much for having me. Darren, it's a pleasure. Round of applause to Darren. Who else wants to pitch now? Put up your hand and hold it up so I can see it. Simon Drake, I saw that. Simon, the floor is yours. Thanks, Ed. Can you hear me okay, guys? You sound sexy and hot. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I had a bit of technical issues. My wife's locked the car, keys in the boot. I've had to nip off. So I'm back in the game. Thank you very much. Um, I'm working with a company called Kona & Co, based in Australia, out of Melbourne. And we're looking to build a network of recruiters. So we're helping people to find work, you know, post-corona. But we're also looking to build our own team. So plenty of opportunities. Looking forward to connecting with people. That's why you and I are connected, Ed. And, you know, looking forward to doing some collaboration. So Lots of one-to-ones I want to get in, in touch with. But, yeah, I need to come out. I need to come out. I need to come online. Ed's going to help me with that. But, yeah, I'm really looking forward to networking more in Australia because I'm currently in the UK. 
awaiting my visas, but we're going to be going over to Australia as soon as we can get there. So looking forward to that. So thanks, everyone. Look forward to connecting. Thank you. Oh, Simon. Round of applause to Simon. We can't wait till you emigrate to Australia. It's or immigrate. It's going to be absolutely awesome. I promise you, I will not report you to customs or the authorities. <laughs> Thank you very you much. Now, I want to. Um, I want to. Um, does anyone else want to pitch really quickly? Um, I, I, I'm reaching out to the quiet people here. Holly. Oh my God, Holly! I was waiting for you, Holly. Holly with the Queen's Garden. The floor is yours. Ed, you're embarrassing me. Holly, before you start, you have to show everyone the Queen's Garden. I want to see the Queen's Garden. Yeah, this is just pretend, right? Oh, look at that, huh? The Queen's Garden. Yeah, the Queen didn't send any staff, though, unfortunately. How you doing, Holly? Okay. What's going on? Very well. Um, first, I just wanted to answer Dominic's question. I was born in Durban, grew up in South Africa, um, came to the UK in 85, lived here for about seven years, went to Australia for 14, came back here in 2006. I'm still in Britain. Um, my, probably the easiest thing to do is send you to my blog, thehollytreetales.com, where I've been adding things for the last five years. I had a nervous breakdown in 2006 and totally, totally lost it, lost it. couldn't drive, could, couldn't hold a, a conversation. Um, yeah, totally lost my confidence. So Ed's ribbing me and that's great. I can respond now. But there was a time when I would have found that really, really hard. Um, so I've kind of rebuilt myself and I've done masses of brain training to get back my sense of being um this morning i jacked up my linkedin profile a little bit put myself down as a mindset mentor i'm training to run masterminds um, and i'm setting up an affiliate business as well um, so probably the simplest is to direct you to the hollytreetales.com Holly. Um, and from there i'm branching out Holly, sounds great. Holly, please share your blog there. And I think that's incredible. I think that's so good. I'm going to unmute for a second. Can we give Holly a triple round of applause? Round of applause to Holly. Hey. Hey. Come on, you, Holly. You're awesome. I'm going to connect with you. Uh, tell you what, um, you've come a long way, Holly, and look at you now. You've got the Queen's Garden. So, yes, share your link in there. It'll be awesome. And uh, oh, who else of our sexy audience wants to pitch right now? And I'm reaching out to the quiet. Put up your hand. Hold it up. You haven't gone yet. Who wants to pitch? No one does. Oh, my God. May Chang. I was waiting for May Chang. May. May is an uh, amazing uh, video. I interviewed her recently. May, the floor is yours. Uh, you know I'm not a quiet one. And, guys, it's just so lovely to see all your smiling faces. Um, I've just joined kind of like, uh, this group uh, just recently and it's been so encouraging to see faces to names and um, understanding how everybody can kind of improve their brand by putting the content, the posts um, um, and getting your names out there. So um, what I do uh, is uh, I run my own business, which is agility marketing, but it's focused on non-for-profit organizations. So I don't work with a lot of what we call B2C, it's really B2B. But you know, getting back to where Carlo mentioned about peace of mind, it is working intimately with our non-for-profits who take it for granted that they get funding, they get grants, and they can just chuck along. But no, it's about helping them position them to be at the top of their game so that if they get merged, if the funding gets cut, they will be the one who will be more successful than any of their counterparts in that sector. So that's what I bring to the picture. Cheers. Oh, beautiful. May, big round of applause to May. And thank you. That's really, really good. Now, what we're going to do for a second is... Um, I'm going to um, speak to you for a moment and give you a few more massive tips and insights to really make the most out of this evening. If you haven't already, please connect with Lassie. She's been, she puts out networking uh, posts, bringing everyone together. Make sure as well you share your stuff in the comments and connect with each other. So make sure you're connecting with each other. 
I just let you know, we will be finishing at 7 p.m. sharp, so we've got 24 minutes left. And to get the most out of it, I've got a few things for you. If you're one of the quieter people, please speak up. Now's your opportunity to rise to power, okay? So of that little beautiful voice in here, I want you to turn that little kitty cat into a big lion. Row. Bring it all to the surface, because that'll be awesome. So what we're going to do, my friends, is we're going to bounce back to one of our awesome, awesome friends by the name of Celeste Ansel. She's powerful, she's winning, and Celeste, can I ask you some questions about LinkedIn? Is that okay, Celeste? Hell yes. Ask me questions, I love LinkedIn. Now, Celeste, I was gonna say, mm -hmm. and this happened to me before, let's say you're on LinkedIn and you're not really growing and your whole LinkedIn present is stagnant. What's yes. your advice for people to turn their stagnant LinkedIn into a growing base of profitable fans? So, so yeah, that's a real reality. A lot of people might think that I'm doing something wrong, therefore I'm going to give up. First things first, don't give up. You need to just adapt. So look at people who are doing well. Um, you know, look at what Ed's doing. Look at anyone that is in your field that you admire, anyone that's got a big following and having a look at what kind of content they have have a look at what you enjoy and start engaging on other people's posts because it's not all about you. It's also about the people in your network. So if you're supporting other people and growing on a regular basis, it, it's a reciprocal thing. It becomes a cycle. You're kind of giving out to others and people are giving back to you. But just keep trying. Honestly, if you just give up, <laughs> I can't really help you there. You've got to just um, put yourself out there. Oh, Celeste, well said. And Celeste, another question for you as well. And you know I love asking this question. Sure. How do you deal with trolls on LinkedIn? What's, a Celeste, what's Celeste Ansel's secret guide for dealing with trolls? Honestly, this is not going to work for everyone because I'm an outspoken person. So um, for me, if I get pushed far and hard enough, I will um, do a post about it. I might not tag you in it, but I'll at least um, express my feelings. And every now and then I'll do a screenshot too. So... Um, what the bottom line is in regards to any kind of post that you do is you've got to think, is this useful? Is this something that is professional? And is, is this something that will resonate with people and not be um, seen as, you know, insulting or, um, you know, too divisive? So you've got to think about your audience and what you're actually posting because it's all about sharing value. And you've got to remember it's a professional network too. So just keeping those things in mind, whatever content that you're you're reading, it's almost like um, an email trail. And that's how I keep it in mind. It's like I'm sending emails to a whole lot of people. Beautiful. Celeste, that's well said. Thank you. Round of applause to Celeste. We appreciate you. Now I want to bounce to my powerhouse friend in Singapore, uh, the powerhouse networking queen and elite commander, Tara Lee Harrison. Can you give us some more of your top networking tips to make us even better and more powerful networkers? Mm, Ed, um, one of my favorites is there, there, I believe there is a difference in face-to-face -face and online networking. And the one thing about it is when we're face-to-face, -face, if like we're out at a breakfast together, I get to see you walk in the door. I get to see your energy. I might get to sit across from you having coffee, but online, all we get is this little piece, right? So, so don't be afraid to let your personality shine through. Any chance that you have to speak, everyone, I want to invite you, you know, be prepared, be ready. Like even when he started to say powerhouse from Singapore, I went, oh, oh, you know, so, so be ready to shine and, and be you. And because we only get that little, little tiny square to be able to make that first, make that good impression. Right. Um, and and mainly do what you can to follow up. I know these days, if you're like me, you're doing tons of meetings, taking tons of notes, do your best to be up on your follow up and what you can do to make the connections that you promise for people. And I promise that if you would just stay with it and be consistent, that your network will grow, your connections will grow and your business will grow. Oh, Tara Lee. So well said. Just a quick follow up question on that one, Tara Lee. Mm -hmm. How do you identify the right people to connect with on LinkedIn? What are some of your tips on that one? Mm, you know, I have to tell you, I really believe in giving people a chance on LinkedIn until they prove to me that they, that they didn't deserve the chance. Um, but for me, one of the main places that I look to be able to build a relationship is because it's limited. We don't have time to talk to everyone. Is If I'm in the business of doing business with business owners, I want to network with other people who are in the same field. Uh, so I recommend same for all of you. We only have limited time. So if you're in health and wellness, talk to health and wellness people first. 
first, if you're in marketing, marketing first, et cetera, um, it's these relationships where we'll be able to build, um, pr possibly do referrals and build really key relationships. So I'd start there because time is precious and we don't, unfortunately, we cannot be best friends with everyone. Did you know? Well said. Round of applause to Tara Lee. Now, I want to actually bounce back. Speaking about voice and communications, one of my favourite speaker and communicators, coach, communication coaches from Melbourne. Obviously, I need some training there. And she was also a star in Blue Healers. Dale Stevens, how are you doing this evening? I'm fantastic. You've caught some here with you guys. Now, Dale, I've got a question for you. And I used to be like this, believe it or not. Let's say you're about to go on camera or speak to a lot of people and you just feel massive stage fright and you get terrified. What are some of your tips for getting over stage fright so one can speak better on camera and to a group of people? Okay, so um, I've got two main ones. One is that if you're starting a meeting or if you're starting something, you need to be like high energy at the beginning, like, hi, great to see you because people are asleep. So you need to make, wake them up. But the really big key tip is to talk to one person. Imagine who you're talking to and decide what that, who that person is because it takes you out of performing. So if, if you're performing, your brain's going, oh, how's this going? And oh, oh, what am I doing? And you're talking all over the shop. But if you're talking to one person, anyone can talk to one person. So just talk to, imagine the person that you want to talk to, the person that makes you feel calm or the person that really needs your message and just talk to that one person. Got it. So I get it. So you're saying, so let's say you're speaking to a group of people tonight, like 50 people or whatever we have, or you're speaking to a crowd of 100. So you're saying mentally see it as one person to help decrease that fear and improve your delivery. Yes, because it turns from a performance into a conversation. Oh, that is very, 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 very cool. And one of the questions before you go, Orson Dale, because I tell you what's very interesting. What was it like being on the set of Blue Healers? I know everyone's thinking that. I just have to ask you. It was the best fun ever because we had um, real guns and so we'd like in between we'd like practice because it's really hard to draw the guns and as an ex-military you'd know that. And so um, we just like practice drawing all the time, <laughs> drawing the guns. And so, um, yeah, the people were amazing. The food was amazing, which is probably most important. And the hair, the hair and makeup were amazing and the directors were amazing. It was just a phenomenal experience. I loved it. And Lisa McCoon was divine. She was just a big sweetheart. So, yes, I loved oh, it. There you go. You heard it from Dale herself. Everyone give Dale a round of applause. Thank you, Dale. That was absolute gold. Now, we've only got 17 minutes left. So our event's coming to its most epic conclusion. So, my awesome friends... I'm inviting the quieter people in the room to do your pictures. So if you haven't gone yet and there's this deep little kitty cat inside of you, you want to turn into a crazy lion, I want to hear you right now. We got, not that you're a quiet person, but you're up. Tracy first. Who else have we got? We've got Tracy Kitching. Who else wants to speak? Got Tracy. Put up your hand if you're interested. Hold it up so I can see. We've got Tracy one. It's Chris and Bell two. And Arlene three. So let's start with. Tracy Kitching. Hi everyone, I'm Tracy and I run Tracy's Wellness Mojo and I help people kick the coffee and kick the energy drinks and have a beautiful sustained energy all day and get quality sleep at night. Hey, there's nothing wrong with chocolate. I'll give you that. Um, and I also help increase your immunity and just have a kick-ass life so you can get through those meetings. Oh, Tracy, that's incredible. Tracy, round of applause to Tracy. We love your work. We're going to bounce over to, oh, my God, my friend Christine Bell. Christine Bell, what are you, how are you doing, Christine? What's going on? Yeah, all well, yours. Unmute yourself, please, Christine, and uh, go for it. Here we go. I'm here. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Christine, it's great having you. Let's tell us a bit about you. Okay, so I am Christine Bell and I'm a customer connector and what that means is I pretty much spent the last 20 years uh, connecting businesses with their customers and by that I mean to really get to know the customers, their hearts and minds. So I'm a customer strategist and researcher and I use qualitative research to go in deep with your customers to understand who they are, why they're buying what they're buying, um, what they really want and, and then turn that into these insights into opportunities that grow gross brands and businesses. So that's me. So for example, I worked with Ben and Jerry last year and we did 
a research across Australia and New Zealand. It was all about understanding how they can grow their scoop ice cream in the stores because they were going down in terms of um, revenue. So they wanted to change that. Wow. So that's what I do. And I also have a, a meetup group, of course, uh, which I haven't actually been doing much in for the last half year. But I think with COVID being over, I'll get back into it. I'm just in the middle of um, redefining my offer, which you'll be part of next week. Ed is taking, kindly taking care, taking part in my research that I'm doing. And then we'll kick it off after that. Oh, Christine, it's a pleasure. Round of applause. Thank you. And Christine, next time you come, it's free Ben and Jerry's for everyone, I think. Put up your hand if you think you d we think we're entitled to free Ben and Jerry's. I think so. <laughs> there you go, Christine. Great. I having... had a lot of Ben and Jerry, I will say that, with my trips around Australia, and I ate so much of it, and I got so sick at the end of it, I couldn't actually have another milkshake. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Christine, we love you, and it's a pleasure seeing you. Now, my poor Swiss cheese brain, who put up their hand to speak next? My poor brain. Eileen, of course it was you. Eileen, my apologies. Eileen. The floor is yours. Thank you very much, Edward. My name is Eileen. I'm from Australia. And this is really my second week watching all these things happening on LinkedIn, the connections and getting my present out there. And I'm really loving it because for the last 25 years, I've been a business owner, but now I'm starting to come out as a business coach, helping small business owner. So for me, learning all this LinkedIn, it's been so great. So that's who am I? Thank you. Eileen, welcome. Bring a round of applause to Eileen. Now I've got a quick question for the audience. Um, I've just broken a big piece of chocolate. Who here thinks I should, I want to take a vote. Who here thinks I should responsibly eat two squares or I should eat all of it? So put in the comments, should Ed eat just two squares responsibly or should he destroy the whole piece? Put it in the comments, friends, whole lot, whole lot. Yeah, everyone wants me to do it. So we're going to start with a bit. Oh my God. We'll catch up on the rest. So with a mouthful of chocolate, I'm going to need someone else to take over. So Carlo, can you take over while I'm eating chocolate and tell us about copywriting? Give us some copywriting tips, Carlo, while I eat this chocolate. Uh, okay, let's get stuck into it. So, yeah, the most important thing is your headline. So um, make sure your headline has the four U's, that it's unique. It's, um, I forgot the other three anyway, but yeah, just make sure your headline gets the intention of your um, prospects and your copy is easy to read. So um, keep talking. So keep, yeah, keep and, talking. And uh, yeah, just, yeah, keep talking and just make sure you have 32 words per paragraph and which is roughly eight words per line or sentence, and you just um, make it easy for your uh, reader to read, basically. So yeah, just uh, always incorporate those power words over and out. Carlo, would you say that Cadbury's a power word? Because I think Cadbury's a power word for sure. For sure. There you go, that was good. That chocolate was awesome. Thank you everyone for giving me permission to indulge. Now, what I wanna do is we've only got 11 minutes left. So in the final 10 minutes, we go to what's called the closing thought segment. Now, closing thoughts is when you can share your one idea of the room to help improve everyone's lives. So we go for about 30 seconds. It's your chance to share a great tip with the world to help everyone improve. So my friends, we're entering closing thoughts now. Put up your hands. So we've got Rachel, closing thought one. Who else wants to do a closing thought? Pina, we've got Rachel, Pina, and who else wants to do a closing thought? And Ian, the first three. Rachel, closing thought to you. If you have a to-do list, your brain focuses on everything you've not done. So you start off feeling overwhelmed and sit there going, oh, I've got too much to do and I'm just going to add more to it. Rename it to an achievement list. Your brain focuses on everything you have achieved and you look at your list and you start off with a feeling of elation going, yay, I've done so much. How much more can I get done? Renaming that turns you from a negative to a positive. Oh, well said, Rachel. Round of applause for Rachel. Pina, closing thoughts from you. All right. My closing thought is if you're freaking out because you don't know what to say or you're just in a room that you feel uncomfortable, it's your brain for some reason telling you to run. 
Now, in order to calm yourself down, just give three big breaths. This way, you actually trick your brain in thinking there is no threat out there. Otherwise, she wouldn't be breathing like that. She would just be pounding. And this way, you calm yourself down. You understand that it's not a threat for you. And you're just there to shine. Oh, Pina, beautifully well said. Thank you, Pina. Appreciate you. Now, Ian Parker on the beach. Closing thought from you. Short and simple. Ed, believe in yourself, your process and your product and never give up. Oh, my God. That's a spirit. Round of applause to Ian. Short and sweet. Simon Drake. Closing thought from you, my friend. How you doing, Simon? Simon, there we are. Your closing thought for me. Hey, these guys, yeah, thank you for that. I think, um, yeah, I, just show up. I think mean, you got to show up consistent. That's for that. Yeah, you know, rather be show people the love you've got. So, yeah, get out there. So Beautiful. Thank you, Simon. Just show up. It's awesome. We've got a closing thought from Zoe. Zoe, Zoe, what's your closing thought for the wonderful room? Oh, this not really business related, but it was everything that's going on at the moment. Please, everybody, most importantly, try and boost your immune systems. I know a lot of people probably know that. That's the most important thing you can do at the moment. Just look after yourselves. Oh, Zoe, beautifully well said. Thank you. Peter Thornton from Canada. Love to hear your closing thought, my Lord, sir. Oh, hi. My name is Peter uh, from Toronto. And uh, I just enjoy this meeting. I've been here for the last three weeks and enjoy all the uh, shares that everybody gives. Thank you very much. Oh, Peter. Big round of applause to Peter. I can feel your kindness and you are a great man and bless your heart. Eons Fleet Pro Solutions. What is your closing thought, Eons Fleet? Oh, I'll unmute you. Wait a sec. Okay, so um, the world the world is a very beautiful place to be. And um, you, know, you need to understand you need people around you to survive. So you have to be very real, be authentic, let integrity speak for you, and consider people. Do not be selfish. That is my closing thought. Oh All the way God. from Africa. Straight from the heart. Round of applause, round of applause. Um, who else wants to give a closing thought? We got Darren and Celeste. And uh, so, I got you. So, Darren, the floor is yours. Closing thoughts. Awesome, guys. I've got a closing quote that I've loved forever and ever. It's unknown, and it says, replace fear with curiosity. So, whatever it is you're procrastinating with, whatever you're thinking about doing, just start, do it, go on the journey, and let it take its own course. Oh, Darren, well said and beautifully said. Celeste, what is your closing thought for this wonderful evening? Um, I just want to say what a bunch of legends these people are. Thank you so much for being here. I've seen so many smiling faces. And as humans, we need that contact. So remember, if you're feeling like you're a bit disconnected, reach out to people in your network, reach out to people in your family, friends. This is a tough time we're going through and we just need to stay positive. Remember, we're not alone because look at all you amazing people. I absolutely love it. Oh, Celeste, straight from the heart. Beautiful Celeste. And <laughs> Sobia Zafaz. Sobia, the floor is yours. Closing thoughts. Thanks, Ed. I think just as the restrictions are easing up and it's highly likely that majority of the people will fall back into the same patterns. So we have to consciously create what we're going to create in our new life. I'm not saying it has to be new, but it has to be whatever works for you. Whatever you have, while you slow down, you had time to reflect. So the takeaways that nourished you, please take that on. So a simple question that I ask in every choice that I make as a parent, as a career woman, whatever, does that bring me joy? If it does, I keep it in. If it doesn't, I take it out. And while you do that, you replace your to-do list with your to-be list. Anything that doesn't fit in, it goes out. So just bring the joy back in every day. So be it. That was beautiful. Round of applause. Instead of to do, to be. That's wonderful. Great advice there. Sass, I got you. Sass, closing thoughts from you. 
Thanks, Ed. From a great storyteller who said, you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself any direction you choose. Dr. Zeus. Oh, that's gold. Very smart. I love it. Now, my friends, very quickly, we've only got uh, four minutes left. Now's the time for us to take photos. Now, what's very important is we're going to take some photos now. So please turn on your cam, look all sexy and attractive and handsome. And what we're going to do as well, please as well, take photos as well. Stick them on Facebook and LinkedIn. Tag everyone and say you had a good time. The more photos out there, the better. So give another, um, so look, all pretty. I'm just going to fix my hair. Yeah, beautiful. I just fixed my hair. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. All right, we're all looking sexy. All right. Okay, I've got two screens to take screenshots of. So everyone take your photos now. This is screen one. So get all happy and hold the pose. Three, two, one, and big smile. Beautiful. That's screen one. Keep taking photos, everyone. I'm just saving the file, and then I'll do screen two. So we've got two screens here. All right, take your photos. All right, everyone, uh, screen two, look sexy and look beautiful. Oh, hang on, I just gotta close the chat box. Oh, too bad. Okay, sorry. Ugh. Hang on, I'll stuff something up, wait a sec. All right, sorry, friends. Look sexy and beautiful. Oh my God, that was just stellar. So, um, and just, we'll just do one, everyone. If you wanna take your own photo now, everyone, Let's do a crazy pose. Let's do a little bit of a weirdo pose. So I'm gonna do a weirdo pose. Excellent, we've done the weirdo pose, so we've got everything. Call my friends, so I think we're almost there. How much time we got left? We got time for a few closing thoughts before we finish the evening. So you gotta, oh, before we go to final closing thoughts, just to let you know, our next um, Zoom meeting is same time, same place next Thursday, 6 p.m. Sydney time. So if you haven't already, please jump in on Meetup and book there nice and early. And of course, as well, we appreciate any shares on LinkedIn and Facebook and more to bring more people along. So any quick closing thoughts before we wrap up the evening? Put up your hand if you want a closing thought. No, no one yet. Oh, hang on, I think we've got one. Any closing thoughts? We've got Alison Rose Clark. Closing thoughts from Alison Rose Clark. It's not really a short, it's not really a closing thought. Um, I've got my first webinar, first official one at 7.30 after this. <laughs> oh, here you go, I like it. My closing thought has come to my webinar. That's gold, you sound like me, Alison. Round of applause. Yeah. Alison. <laughs> yeah, I like you, Alison. You're opportunist, you never miss a shot like me. I like you, Alison. Uh, who else wants to have a shot? A closing thought, Holly Maxwell. Closing thought from you. Oh, unmute yourself, Holly. Holly Maxwell Boydale. I just wanted to say in closing a few words. Empathy, compassionate listening, mindfulness, authenticity. These are my closing thoughts for business and life. Oh, my God. That was gold. And you know what? It's now seven o'clock. That's a wrap. The evening has come to its dramatic and awesome conclusion. So my friends, this is a few closing thoughts. Please connect with everyone on LinkedIn, share our event on Facebook and LinkedIn, upload your photos. As I'll say, it was an absolute pleasure having you with us. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit unmute. Let's give a big round of applause to officially sign off the evening. Applause everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Lassie. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. 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 Thank you